Earlier this month, we reported on the magnitude 7.0 earthquake that struck beneath the Hubbard Glacier in Alaska's St. Elias Mountains. At the time, the focus was on the depth of the rupture and its location in one of the most remote seismic zones in North America. What has now become clear is that the ground response was far more extensive than initially visible. New analysis from the USGS confirms that the December 6th quake triggered a massive cascade of landslides and snow avalanches across both Alaska and Western Canada. Using radar-based remote sensing designed for low light and heavy cloud conditions, scientists identified more than 700 individual slope failures linked directly to the seismic shaking. The most severe activity formed a narrow corridor roughly 10 miles wide and 30 miles long, aligned with the fault rupture and extending northwest from the epicenter. This zone contains the largest and most concentrated ground failures, closely matching early ground failure probability models released after the quake. Several of the largest landslides originated on the slopes of Mount Logan, Canada's highest peak. 21 major failures show lobate debris deposits exceeding 2 kilometers in length, a pattern consistent with large landslides moving across glacier surfaces rather than simple snow avalanches. Preliminary measurements indicate that some of these mass movements traveled more than three and a half miles, with actual distances likely greater since source zones were not fully visible. Optical imagery collected days later confirmed deposits made up of rock mixed with snow and ice, while other areas now appear fully snow-covered, suggesting additional failures may already be hidden. Together, these findings show how a single large earthquake in glaciated terrain can quietly reshape vast mountain systems through hundreds of secondary failures, many of which occur far from immediate observation.